Hello, welcome to my channel. In this uh, tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do two different kinds of ruffles. And they're very simple and easy to make. Uh, right now, I'm just... The size of the cakes that I'm using, it's going to be a 4 inch and a 6 inch. Two tiers. It's a very small um, cake. I think it feeds around... 30 people with a 4 inch and a 6 inch. So right now what I'm using, I used the circle cutter and I cut all my circles and I just thin out half of the circle and then you pinch the two ends and make it like a little skirt and that's how I make th those ruffles. And you do the same technique with all your circles. Thin out half of the circle, pinch it. And that's it. I already crumb coat my cake. And just do all this all around the cake until you finish. I know this technique takes a little bit more time, but it looks really new, cute. It is simple, but it takes a little time to finish it. So I'm going to do the rest. And this is the finished product. What I'm doing right now, I just add a black fonder ribbon around it with the little bow. And you can see the little circles that, that goes all around the cake. And right now I'm going to do another different ruffle, which is using a stripe fondant. You know, you cut the size however you want it. And I used to do the same technique. Thin out half of it. This technique is way faster than this, the other one. Using the circle cutters. Then that's my four inch cake. Cover the top with um, the same color or you could use a different color, but I'm just covering it. I'm using another, I'm putting my ruffles going the opposite side. So I'm some going up and some going down. Op open the ends.
Just take your time. Pretty much is real easy. I mean, it's not, I think doing this technique is way easier than doing the circles, ruffles. But right now, I just cut a black ribbon, went around it, and you could see the, the two different uh, ruffles one, one going up and the other one going down. So I'm just going to make a little bowl and I'm going to be finished with the cake and just finish the last decorations. I think it took me, let's say an hour just to decorate this cake just because of doing the circle ruffles. I think those are the ones that take a little bit more longer. There's my little small bow. This cake I made it for my daughter. She wanted pur purple neon colors. She want neon colors. She wanted a green and purple. And just take your time, finish the last details. I like how it looks. So yeah, the bottom one I use the circle cutters and the top one I just make long, long ribbons, long stripes and do the same technique. I that's my first topper that I made. So so it was hard to make that topper, but I did it for my daughter, so not bad for my first one. Oh, one thing, whenever you put a topper like this, don't forget to put straws on the bottom. Because it's kind of heavy. I did put straw under it. So please subscribe and thank you.